And what a remarkable story we have to share with you. Ivory, what happened? Oh, May 1st of last year on a Sunday, oh, we had a race out on the bayou, a fun day. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, I was putting my horse up and walking along the fence line, another horse rushed over and grabbed me by the throat and crushed it. And we, if, can you just show us a little bit of your neck and show us what your scar looks like today? Oh, yeah. um, and just give us an idea of what you went through. So we can tell where the horse bit you. Let's talk to your doctor to talk about what in the world your team had to do as a surgeon to be able to put him back together. First of all, it bit him right by the jugular, which would have immediately taken his life. Absolutely. But it is incredible that he's able to speak and eat and swallow, isn't it? Absolutely. His injuries, in my opinion, seem to be pretty advanced. Uh, his voice box was shattered in four different pieces, and trying to put that back together required some uh, thought process, and we yes. were able to really do a series of operations to get Mr. Lindsay back to being able to swallow, being able to talk, being able to go back to his horses and live the life that he always wanted to. Let's talk about what happened. Did you, did you feel anything? Did it knock you out? What happened after that injury? Did well, you know how serious not, it was? From the time he bit me and through the surgery, I never had a pain. No. No. Really. really? Yes. But once he bit me and I got a loose, I didn't remember falling on the ground. Mm -hmm. But as I was getting up, blood was falling on my boot. Oh. And I went to grab my throat and I didn't because I thought he had ripped it out. Oh. And my son mm -hmm. rushed me to the hospital. Did you try to talk and nothing would come out? Were you able to speak or to communicate no, at I all? No, I think I got one yell out and he heard me. Oh. And that was it. You can give us a good idea of, of the injury because you brought in a device just to show us what happened and what kind of injury this was. Absolutely, so this is actually a medical model of what somebody's airway and voice box looks like. And the injuries that Mr. Ivory Lindsay sustained were involving the cartilage that surrounds the actual vocal cords mm -hmm. and that cartilage was broken into four different pieces. Uh, we had actually a communication that we appreciated coming from the outside of his neck skin, going right through that cartilage and going right into the inside of where the voice box itself is the most, most important structure being the vocal cords. I have to ask you, when you did that surgery, did you ever think that he would be able to speak again? You know, I was very pessimistic to say the least as far as how he was going to be able to speak and what quality of voice he may have. But obviously hopeful. Ab obviously hopeful, surgeon, absolutely. You did it. Congratulations on a Thank job you. well done. Medical marvel you are. Yes, and I'm so you. glad you're okay. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for sharing your remarkable story. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes.